Um, hello, good night. I have night here and I want to do my regular speaking uh, part. Actually, uh, now I went out to the hall to do some things and I could smell uh, how my grandma is baking uh, a pie with apples and I mean I can smell it even now because because obviously smell just went to my room and uh, well <laughs> today I want to talk about my favorite topic of all the times and it is a theory of teaching uh, of well basically of everything but uh, today I want to speak about teaching of English like more deeply because uh, well I have uh, this year I went to new school with new teacher uh, of English, obviously, and uh, like uh, she is not great, and in some ways I'm, I speak better than her, and she almost like don't speak at lessons in English, which is so harmful to like anyone's. Uh, like listening and speaking skill so I'm frustrated and uh, uh, self-management day comes like really soon and I will be a teacher I will be teach or yeah I will be a teacher of English uh, for five lessons like a day uh, which is actually strange because because in my previous school we just had like one lesson or two if you like so eager to it uh, like per day in self management day basically but well that's the thing and I will be I I'm gonna teach. Uh, a couple of ninth classes and five and uh, second and and eleven. So my class. Uh, and uh, I don't know what I'm exactly going to do, and I don't have any plans. As for now, but I really wanted to be very fun because I'm so frustrated by uh, my teachers of English and well, uh, in my previous uh, Finnish college, uh, I had pretty nice uh, English teacher, but she liked to do the lesson like the lessons over uh, like bring a lot of politics to the lesson and she was a feminist and well yeah she was a leftist and we ended up every lesson with her uh, like talking about feminism and men and all that fucking European stuff like not European but leftist stuff that I don't like I'm not a big fan of uh, but uh, her, her teaching methods were pretty good we did a lot of uh, stuff and we did games and we did even uh, well mm. Ah, yeah, uh, debates about uh, pros and cons of GMO and uh, 
like I was in in the group uh, of of cons, but like I am uh, actually uh, an an oppositioner of GMO, so I needed to think about some uh, like some cons of it. Mm. Well, I did it. It was very fun. It was very fun indeed. And we had, for example, we needed to write a resume, and uh, we created little companies, uh, for example. And uh, you need you needed to ap apply your resume to one of these little companies that we created. For example, I was in group uh, when we had. Uh, when we needed a triangle player, and it was fun, we had a, a conversations with uh, employee, and we needed to ask questions, and uh, like then we ourselves needed to have a conversation with employers, and that was very fun, really, and like one of the uh, groups. Uh, had a resume on a no not resume but uh, like they had a vacation of sugar babies for example that was quite fun but uh, I applied for McDonald's worker and they needed like a very sad McDonald's worker uh, well I didn't win uh, and maybe it's good for me. But like in this case, uh, I understand that it was like uh, very easy to have a have a business with us because we already talk English. We already could uh, like we already speak enough to debate, to express our thoughts, and uh, speak pretty fluently, which is. Uh, not the case in, in my case, well, uh, because even my class, uh, 11th class, can't really speak even at the level I can. And I think I'm in intermediate or maybe a little bit higher, uh, but like most of my classmates can say like I don't know I'm going to read that book tomorrow or something like that and they can, they uh, can't understand uh, speaking and uh, they became like deconcentrate and when you try to speak, uh, like to really speak English, and they became bored and all that stuff. So I don't even know because I'm myself a uh, uh, like um, fuck. Like I uh, resist no. Like, I have a conception of practical education. So, like, when you, when you teach English, you should basically, like, know, uh, you know something. You need to know something about construction of the sentences, like a brief understanding of it. Like, I go to somewhere and... Uh, like no more than 50 words in your vocabulary and then you just need to speak, speak, speak and you need to, like the teacher uh, himself should sp like speak a lot, no Russian or any native language at all, no, almost at all. Well, and yeah. Uh, 
like I'm really eager for it and uh, I really feel that I can change everything in the system of education because I don't like how it happens and I can't understand how like some people just uh, speak Russian all the English lesson uh, and uh, like do one exercise per whole lesson and why don't they have like an in inspiration that comes from inside that you should teach you should speak you should like do something interesting or like i don't know challenge uh, basically challenge the class well but uh, some teachers don't share my like point of view and uh, that's why I'm frustrated. Ah, another thing that I forgot to mention that uh, like uh, now I'm teaching another language. Uh, this is language of my ancestors, basically, and my grandma can speak it. It calls uh, it is called Tatar language. Uh, it's basically like second, I guess, second or third uh, the most po popular uh, language in Russia. And uh, like, I was a little bit of shame that I don't know it, even if my own like relatives know it and I don't. Why don't I? So I started like uh, almost uh, 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 completely nub or noob or what. And like now I can see how uh, my brain like develops um, to know it or at least like if you're a completely beginner, uh, what should you start with? Because it was a little bit unclear for me. Uh, I actually I was uh, invited by an employer to teach uh, well, like under uh, under school under schoolers like very little kids uh, like yeah to have to have some basics of English well but um, I, I guess they didn't respond me when I said that I'm uh, like not 18 so yeah I'm really interested in this job because like I like to deal with kids and I was uh, uh, well I was a su like a supervisor in summer camp this uh, summer with my brother sisters and uh, a lot of relatives it was like a family camp or whatever um, and of course I'm really interested in methodic and uh, like I try to talk uh, with my grandma about the self-management day and she is a social pedagogist fuck sorry so she teach uh, how to teach, basically, but in universities. So, like, I was uh, quite, 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 quite uh, surprised, or yeah, like excited about her point of view because 
uh, like she says that uh, like teachers should be humanistic, humanistical, humanistical, and uh, like because I said if uh, like if uh, a student didn't uh, do his homework, I'll put two, I'll put two in the journal from like from five to two. It's a it's the worst uh, mark because well, yeah because like fuck everyone should do homework. And like so, she said that it is a terrible decision because uh, I don't know like all circumstances that uh, were like that had background or that background uh, like. N not uh, doing your homework and uh, she said that the student will be really upset and he will he will he will feel uh, like not like your subject because he got to get a two so yeah because i would i would be really upset if i get to just for not doing my homework because i don't do it for some subjects but in the other hand i would be uh like if i see that teacher really excited or really loves his uh, his subjects and gives an interest in homeworks, then like I would be ashamed to not do something, not do not do don't do my homework. Well, okay, I talk uh, about eighteen minutes now, and. Uh, I don't think that anybody will watch it anyway. So I wanted to also to talk about my uh, my English or textbook, uh, and I had different textbook uh, in my previous school, but I like this one more. Uh, so the principle of this textbook is that. Uh, like textbook is divided by groups uh like no here by groups for example reading skills uh grammar in use uh, literature i'm a big fan of this particular uh, module yeah i guess it's a module because uh like we read Oscar Wilde and like Mark Twain and some others, uh, some other writers. Well, well, we we're now we currently on Oscar Wilde. It's our first author, but I have already read all the others because I was interested. And Charlotte Bronte and some of them, and Jack London, and well, like. Do, like have you an understanding how cool it is to like how cool is it to understand that you can understand a real fucking uh, literature of English classics or you can really read like these books in English and so on and it gives you a like it makes you a, a lot of 
fuck, fuck. It, it makes you I really, really motivate. At least it works for me. Uh, I have already read uh, 1.5 uh, book in English this year, like really r real books. Mm, it sounds uh, like like not a lot of, uh, but there were, it was uh, a lot of to me because well I'm I'm. Uh, not so good speaker and grammar at them. Well, yeah. Uh, yes. What I wanted to say. Uh, so next, uh, writing skills. Uh, really important stuff. So, if you want to, I can like read some examples. Uh, of exercises of what uh, what we are supposed to do uh, like related to this textbook or descriptive writing people uh, about introduction main body and conclusion it's like a theoretical stuff so plan uh, and uh, an exercise of uh, of a, a letter of a letter like my dearest friend and and so on. Summarize each paragraph. Um, and uh, a little bit of words like. No. Some words like about uh, description of people like head, build, age, complexion, ATC. So use adjectives uh, to complete Jane's descriptions, personality and behavior. So okay, again theoretical stuff. Uh, well. I like a lot that this textbook doesn't have Russian, I guess, at all. Yeah, I don't see any Russian. Only in vocabulary, which is appropriate. And, like, <clears throat> I like a lot that uh, we should not translate a word in Russian, but we should just give a... Not a description, but give a... For example, optimistic. Optimistic always looks on the bright side of life. So I like it a lot. It it goes for remembering and uh, well. I should uh, I should like took it in my mind because. It's really helpful uh, to describe things, not to translate them, but to describe. Yes, and uh, I already have thought about this method uh, when I was given about like uh, my lesson plan. Rephrase the following using milder language. Match the descriptions to the adjectives, linking words and phrases. So yeah, this textbook uh, is quite good, but uh, the only thing I'm not satisfied with uh, is probably that uh, it's not hard enough. Even if I can say, even for myself, that uh every chapter i uh, i meet up new words uh but the thing textbook should be even harder so but of course that's that's not the case for my classmates 
things they can do it even like even the reason part of it yeah I need to say that uh, not everyone in Russia is that stupid just because uh, they said that like my current uh, classmate said that they had a lot of problems with English teacher and uh, they always uh, changed like up and they hadn't proper English so uh, it's understandable and yeah what else can I say um, I always like it always uh, very like satisfying when you see a cute uh, graphic design on each uh, on each page so they almost like the most all different in each page so they're just a uh, nice bonus isn't it for example uh, another thing in my previous uh, textbook was that they, uh, there were useless exercises and my teacher gave us useless uh, even more useless exercise for example we needed to translate we need to read uh, the text and then for some reason uh, write a translation of it in our book in Russian and I can never understand that I will I will never able to understand that <sighs> yeah so again how many different fields you should give uh, to the person, to the student, a challenge? But it, sh it must be fucking interesting. And uh, I, I know for myself that everyone likes to do projects, for example. And we did a lot of projects in English and like in my previous year when I was in Finland. So well, so I don't know why don't why uh, like people uh, don't practice that. I like it make me so it makes me so angry when I see that people uh, don't do projects. Why don't you do them? Like twenty percent of theory and uh, like eighteen. Wait, eighty percent of practice. That's the only chance to to be good at something. You should put the student to a diving of uh, like unknown material. But uh, the goal should be worth it. I can talk a lot. But I'm really interested in that topic and uh, I would like to be a teacher of English or at least I would like to change the uh, educational system somehow. Because now it's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, useless stuff in this system, f f starting with just uh, global bureaucracy and teachers they don't do lessons they do all these papers all the bureaucracy at least in Russia in Finland they they work non normal mm, well yeah talk about <laughs> Took about half an hour. Uh, okay, good for today, I guess. And uh, I thought that I will be disappointed on myself by by uh, by this session because um, 
I don't uh, have many, don't have much of practice with anybody because, well, just in school, very a little bit and very disabled uh, parts of uh, practice reach me, ah, no, reach me, um, and uh, yeah. Okay, uh, thank you and have a nice day.